morning to you. Welcome to Sunday. Hope you find uh, hope Sunday finds you well wherever you are in the world and that you've had a good week. Um, nice shave this, looking forward to this. Something a bit different for me. A uh, new soap and a new razor. You can tell by the title. So <laughs> I'll show you straight away the razor we're going to use in this thing. And that is called a JJ Shorty, made in Britain by another shaver. He does a JJ Shaves on YouTube. And he makes these. They're a short, shorter blade than um, standard straight razors. And the idea is to make a good quality razor shorter um, for people to cross over from wet shaving into this if they so wish because uh, you can the standard blades are slightly bigger and can be a bit daunting can't they so maybe someone who's thinking of coming over but they're worried about the size and things like that this might be a better option that's a standard blade you see so it's slightly bigger than the standard blade but it's as you can see it's it's smaller so JJ Shorty John June his name is um, he starts off with the blades, the blanks, which he cuts and shapes himself. He can put different toes on them. That's the toe there. So that would be a square toe. Uh, this is the spine. This is the face. Um, this is the heel. These are the scales. And there's brass um, pivot pins here. This is known as the tail or the tang, I presume. The shoulder is there, I think. And um, see this here, these lines, we call them sort of lined grip or knurling, wouldn't we? The same sort of the top there. But I think they're officially called jimps, uh, you know, whatever. But um, And he does different uh, scales. Uh, these are the standard basic colours. So that would be a, what would you class that as a cream ivory? Lovely. And there's an inner there. If you're watching, John, that's put in so well, I can't feel... And he joined, really nice. Um, he does different scales, acrylic scales, standards. Um, if you wanted a fancy acrylic scales, which is multi layers and colours and things, they're five pound more, I think. And the exotic woods, they're ten pound more. Or if you can get them, some rare British woods. Um, this one here is nickel plated, which is anti corrosion and uh, gives a smoother shave and keeps the blade better, apparently. So that's what it looks like. Really nice. So it came to me all oiled and everything, and I was told, don't um, strop it or hone it. Uh, just shave with it, wipe the oil off and shave. So that's what I'm gonna do. So thank you, John, use that. And I'll just show you the strop. Um, this here, that's the strop, it's a shorter strop. Um, this is made by the highest, made by, of the highest quality British bridal leather by a chap called Robert, I love this name, Bobby G. Gallagher, <laughs> Robert Gallagher. Um, he makes these at, uh, at no sort of uh, profits, apparently. He, he gives them to, or makes them for John to put as part of his kit with these. Um, and he gives them the cost they make and uh, uh, John passes them on to us, or view, um, viewers, customs as a um, non-profit. So there, there's his name, Robert Gallagher. I put um, Robert's Facebook, uh, some lovely, reminds me of my cousin used to go riding. So it's British bridal leather, highest quality. Oh, you've got your logo there, JJ Shaves. Um, and if you ever got into this way of shaving, you would, uh, Go to him for a full size one, he does full size ones. Now one good thing with this, obviously, if you can see, if I can put it, it comes just the right size for the blade, which is nice. So uh, that's something, so that's the strop, lovely. I'll put links to John's, he's got a YouTube channel as well, John, JJ Shaves. Uh, shaves with straights, you'll see some of them he uses, you could chop logs of them. <laughs> 
But I'll stick with this for now. Uh, you know, I'll be quiet today because I've got to think about it. But that's that. Thank you, John. We've got some soap in the base there in the Captain's Choice original. And that soap was kindly sent. Don Frazier, Conversational Shaving. Thank you, Don. And that is this thing. And it's a Sheer Monique Dutch Shaving Soap. Um, 1778 Beau Bromel. I hope I'm saying that right. Beau Bromel scent. And it's, um, what is it here? A light, fresh smell with notes of honey, black tea, tobacco, lilac, and hints of fruit and spice, which is states there. So look forward to that. Thank you, Don. It's like a crope. Comes in this nice tin. There you go. Um, which I've taken some out there. Beautiful scent. I'm getting, um, I don't know if it's in this, but I'm getting a slight, very hint of almond, like a nutty. It's, it's really nice. So all those scents combined, they should be quite nice. With this being a straight, I'm going to use the um, PAA's The Cube pre-shave. Uh, it's not mentholated, this is just the standard. So I'm going to use that now. All right, I'm going to wet the, uh, wet the face first. Gotta be prepared for this. Now, as you know, I'm a double-edged razor shaver and single edge. That's my that's my go-to. That's my favourite. Um, but the reason I've said to John, yes, I'd like to try this, is because of the size. Um, it's, you know, be interesting to see how it uh, how it performs and compared. Oh, it's different to a double-edged, obviously. But uh, I'd like to keep my hand in. Um, and with this, I'm hoping with this, I can sort of use it more than I have done in the past with straights or shavettes. But um, maybe something to think about if you're thinking of coming over to this way or having it as part of your shave, because that is traditional wet shaving, isn't it? And this makes you look like you're in the movies, darkens your beard, as you can see. Lovely. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to wet my hands. I'm going to take these off and dump on my hands. I will really go for it. I have shaved with just this uh, cube. The important thing is when you're using a live, what well, I class as a live straight blade like this, if you're going to ever try one, if you're new to it especially, uh, on your own, no children, no distractions, no animals, just if you can, because you need to concentrate until it becomes part of your muscle memory as um, double edge shaving. The more you do it, the better. Right, I'm gonna wash this off now. Just using it as a pre, and then I'm gonna use this soap. Maybe not every remnant of it, but most of it. There we go. Not so bad on the neck. We'll leave that as it is. So how's it going then this weekend, all right? I hope so. If you're working, many thanks for your service. Right. Oh, the brush, I'll show you the brush now. We're using the Razor Rock 400 Special Edition Aluminium, Aluminium, uh, 24 millimeter noir synthetic knot or black synthetic knot. I'm going to go straight in. So many thanks, Don. A bit more water. I hope this uh, soap looks after me. I need it today. 
I don't think you've tried this, have you, Don? You said you've got this scent, I think, in another soap, is it? And you thought I'd like it. So he sent this to me. So thank you very much for this. Just adding water. He likes to drink this. Really likes to drink. Get them bristles into it. So what's your shade of the day then? This is nice. A bit more water again. Oh, I've got my uh, Welsh t-shirt on today. Wales, the Welsh dragon. Oh, it's a lovely scent. All the, yeah, you can smell the spices. Um, I'm not getting any citrusy, but I expect with everything, it's a sp good combo. Spices, you got the uh, black tea, tobacco, lilac. But I'm getting the spices, but anyway, that should do, isn't it? That'll do. Right. There we go. It's a long while since I've uh, used this straight. So you've got to think, well, unless you've used them regular. John does shaves. Uh, JJ's uh, put a link to his channel, to his Facebook, and um, also a section of the uh, price list of these razors and the different options. You've got extras um, if you fancy a read or if you're interested and anything like that. It's a British... He's a British guy, um, so British made, British leather from uh, Robert and all that. So it's nice, isn't it, to see these artisans come in. The scales he makes himself from blocks, so he cuts them, makes them. So it's you know it's, made, it's a lot of work must go into it. Fair play, and he can do fancy stuff on the spine if you want it. Um, as I say, different colour scales. Uh, Maybe something to think about as a present for someone. I don't know. The uh, things are endless. The options are endless. I got this to wipe the blade as we shave. All right. So here we go. First pass using the JJ Shorty. Here we go. Eyes down for a full house. Let's feel how it goes. Oh, that feels nice. Good edge on it, John. So we're going with. So gentle and going. Well, a good rinse actually. Yeah, I prefer to rinse it. So, uh, Yeah, this is like a new shaver for me, see?
But this is traditional, isn't it? Yes. Try the left hand now. Here we go. He also does um, a vintage razor, um, revamping them and things like that. Repairs, you know. Replating them. Which is nice to see in this country. Are you nervous? Don't be nervous. It looks worse than it is. <laughs> he says, I'm finished yet. Hopefully, if you're not interested in this, it's good viewing, as I said. <laughs> right. This is a nice scent done, like a nice fresh scent. Like everything really you need. You need time and uh, practice. Considering I don't use these, oh, 
kind of news on. It must be a year, two, if not more. So I'm quite happy with that. Plus it's a nice, it does make a difference, the size for me. Much easier, more manoeuvrable, so uh, no issues yet. <laughs> Notice I err on the side of precaution. If, if this goes over, wow, are we on 20 minutes? Yeah, I'm sorry, this is going to be a long video. Wow. But I can't rush it. Even though I love you to bits and I don't love you that much when I'm... <laughs> yeah. As I say, because some people see you doing this and, oh, you're not going over the straight side. <laughs> D is my thing. And I see John, even himself, uses double edged razors and things. But uh, I like to just keep my hand in, you know. As I say, this is a very traditional um, way of shaving, isn't it? Okay, here we go, across the growth. Let's see the best way. We're heading out again today, um, so it's going to be just a, uh, I'm not sure I'm going to have today actually to, to come home to, so it won't be a Sunday roast again. Uh, I'm heading out uh, doing a bit of filming. What's your meal of the day? I've asked you that. I've got a few nice cold beers. So that'd be nice.
across the growth done. And then uh, there is a slickness there, which is quite residual, especially on the cheeks. That is a nice scent, not a strong overpowering scent either, but very nice. Right, thank you, Dom. Mm. Just like a bit of water. Mm -hmm. I like to drink. Here we go against the growth. You feel what they call cack handed sometimes. What are you thinking? Use one of these more often, but they've never seen you so quiet. <laughs> I think you have to find your own way, really, of holding it, you know.
So I'm not going against on the chin of the moustache area. No. Oh, well, not bad. I can feel straight away after uh, you do get more confident and I don't mean overconfident so the more you use it you would get used to it and in the end you would go against it but that is a very Close shoe, maybe slightly, just a bit. That's nice. Mm, just a bit of a pick up time, baby. Here we go. You ready? Three, two, one, pick up time, baby. Okay. Just slightly, because it's a very... Uh, could go a bit closer on the chin. I might go over with a razor, uh, double-edged after, just, um, but that's for the first, because I've not used one for a long, long time. It's, it's a nice feeling using this because, as I say, you do feel you're having a very traditional shave. And not only that, you're doing it. We're happy with that. Very nice. Cold water rinse. Sorry to keep you. I know it's a bit long there. I know some don't mind this, but uh, I don't know. I don't like going over the top with these over 30s. It's ridiculous. But uh, in this type of shave, I don't mind. But that is good enough to go out. There's one little nick there, wasn't it? But that's not bad. I'm quite happy with that. Bit of sandalwood, homemade sandalwood with the Humphreys Witch Hazel. nice. We'll use 
use some uh, burgundy wood spice, gentlemen. This is from Marks and Spencers. I'm yet to get this green one. Forget about that. Now, I did think I'd have a bit of feedback on the sheet. <laughs> it's not bad at all, that. That's nice. That is, oh, yeah, you'd like it. <laughs> That's it. And then, to protect the face, L'Oreal uh, Men Expert Hydro Sensitive with Birch Sap. Very good for your Birch Sap. And then... Uh, so that's it. Many thanks, John, for sending that. Um, like I say, I'll put a link in the description to his Facebook, his YouTube channel. Uh, Don, Conversational Shaving, who sent me the set, uh, soap to his channel. And also to the uh, Robert, <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, Bo uh, what was his name? Boat, no, Go B G. Oh, I forgot the name now. Robert Gallagher. Um, Bo B G, that's it. Bo B G. Robert Gallagher to his leather on his Facebook, and um, very nice. So, as you know, we've used the JJ Shorty straight razor. Very nice, nice edge on it. Worked well. I clean this after. Thank you, John. We've used the She Monique. I hope I'm saying that right. This is a Dutch shaving soap. Uh, shave, uh, 1778 Beau Brumel, a lovely scent, spicy, but a cologne background to it. That must be the tobacco and the tea, as it was. Lovely, really nice. Um, likes a drink, more water the better, but it kept me safe through this, so very nice. Thank you, Don. Welsh water to rinse, we've used the Razor Rock 400 uh, special edition 24 millimeter noir. Um, Synthetic knot, Captain's Choice Original Bowl, and the PAA Pre Shave Cube, Marks and Spencer's or St. Michael uh, Wood Spice Aftershave, gorgeous stuff, and L'Oreal Men Expert Hydrosensitive Soothing Birch Sap Balm. Ready to go out. Don't know if I'll bother with this, actually, it feels yeah, it feels nice. That's, I'm very happy with that. Considering I've used one for a few years. Very nice. So all the best. Sorry it's long. Have a great rest of the week. Some good shaves. Look after yourselves. Try and be nice if you can to people and yourself. And uh, I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. Many thanks. <laughs>